Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Gosha Do here, and this is my review on Transformers crossover Star Wars Ta Darth Vader's Tie Fighter slash Darth Vader. So here's Darth Vader's Tie Fighter. Good representation of it. Looks good from the side. Looks good from the back. Looks good from the front. Here's the top. Oops. You can see all the uh, pins in, but you know, still not cool. Then you can see the bottom, which doesn't look so good because you see Darth Vader's chest. So it does have a gimmick in this mode. The lightsabers stored right there, right there, are actually missiles. So let's go bam. Don't know if you guys saw that, but it shot out two missiles, which are the lightsabers. And since it shoots this way, the handles on like the missiles. And you can see it's paint top it's coming off, it's kind of old. So yeah, this whole thing is red clear plastic just painted over it. So yeah, let's go ahead and transform them. Uh, you want to rip, rip off the wing binders. So take them off to the side. And stack up my stand. There we go. So we got this part right here. So I'm going to detach the arms. And leave them like it is. Right here on these two um, panels right here, they are the legs. So you just want to pull them out with the screws going to the back. This one's already correct, so then open up its feet. And let's want to see how high this guy stands. Probably need another book. There we go. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Alright. So we got that, uh, the other little sliders right here, slides out his hands, oh also I forgot, in the back you want to fold up these panels, and these two longer ones will fold inwards, so it be like that, got the other hand out, the head, want to open this back part or top of the TIE fighter, pull his head out, Stop back in. There's a um, there's a hole right here for the plug. Plug his head in, and boom. And it's kind of interesting. He has this gold in the back, and it's kind of hard to see. Sorry about that. But here is Darth Vader in robot mode. Um, this is one of the later series, so it didn't come with a figurine. Usually these, um, I think it came with a figurine when they, the first release of them. So yeah. And oh wait, he's missing his cape. One of the binders, bottom part, splits into three, and that will loosen up to be like his cape. So, plug it on the top peg, like so. And there is Nord Vader with his cape, and he comes with a shield. Because every robot needs a shield. If I can get it in. There we go. So it has a shield. So it's pretty nice. Articulation, head, can only go this far side to side. Arms can go all the way around if the shield is not attached. Can go out this much, go in a lot. Actually, the arms supposed to go down just a bit more. I just now realized that it's on a double hinge. So it's on a double hinge, remove that, people. Bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow, wrists can rotate, also not going to try it. Uh, no waist at all. And uh, legs can go up this high, they can not go that far back, that's how far they can go. Bend at the knees because of transformation, and ankle can pivot. So yeah, pretty cool. Put the sword, his lightsaber to his hand and I would like to put this one back into his launcher so that I actually don't I went the other way there we go so it kinda sucks he can't shoot him forward but he can shoot him backwards and also it looks like he has a uh, an undecided arm uh, lightsaber so yeah so yeah that's my review on Transformers crossover, Star Wars, uh, Darth Vader slash tie, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for more awesome reviews 
with um, Bow Shirt Dude, and I'll see you guys next time.